uh, I have a question from engineering mechanics. Uh, it's uh, this question uh, about moment, and the question is asking the gears are subjected to the couple moments uh, as shown, and determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant couple moment. So in order to find the resultant couple moment, I have to find each side of the couple, uh, each side of the moment, and add them together to find the result one, resultant. So let's see what we can do. First, uh, first of all, I have to bring this one into Cartesian, Cartesian vector form. So in order to do that, I have to simplify in each direction x, y, c components. So first, uh, I am taking this side, m1. So first of all, to find these kind of things, uh, it's better to find the x, y plane first and then calculate the other things. So let's see what we can do. So it's going to be x, y plane is going to be uh, the first one, let's say m1 x y plane which is going to be uh, 40 uh, or you can say m1 m1 cos cos 20 so this is going to be my m1 plane uh, if I calculate that it's going to be 40 times cos 20 let's see what else that we get <coughs> so 40 cos 20 which is giving me 37.58 58 and from this one we can calculate m1 x and m1 y so m1 x is going to be equal to so if you see uh, it's in the y uh, along with the y coordinates therefore it's making 15 degrees with the y coordinates so in order to find the x1 x uh, I have to uh, simply multiply by sine 15 because uh, if it along with y axis it only uh, the cos is used to shrink that uh, value so it's we can't do that so it's sine 15 and sine 15 is gonna be and it's positive because x is uh, positive here and it's moving toward x axis so that's why it's positive and uh, it's gonna be m uh, this one m1 x y times m1 x y I'm directly putting the number m1 x y times sine sine 15 degree and if I calculate that that gives me 37.58 sine 15 is equal to 9.72 so it's giving me 9.72 and if I calculate m1y it's gonna be 37.58 and uh, 37.58 cos 15 and in this case uh, y is in the negative direction so we have to put negative 37.58 cos 15 so which is going to be equal to let's see what we get 37.58 cos 15 which is equal to negative 36.29 negative 36 0.29 so this is the y value and if I want to find z value m1 z uh, I don't have to use the plane because it's directly uh, it's going downward so we have to put negative here and going downward therefore okay going downward right going downward and this is also this one is going toward toward the positive direction therefore it's positive here toward y positive direction so y is positive z is negative because it's going down <coughs> and uh, therefore it's, uh, it's gonna be simply m m1 sine sin 20 negative m1 sine 20 m1 is we know already it's 40 
40 sine 20. So if I calculate this one, it's going to give me 40 sine 20 uh, negative 13.6 13.6 so this is my m1 z so we we can just uh, write in the uh, Cartesian vector form it's going to be 9.7 i uh, plus 13.6 uh, minus 13.6 k so this is going to be my Cartesian vector for this now I have to find the m2 uh, m2 is going to be so m2 x is going to be uh, simply simply um, m2 cos uh, m2 sine 30 m2 sine 30 and it's in the negative x axis. Uh, it's going toward negative x direction. Therefore, it's negative uh, negative m2 sine 30 is negative 30 sine 30. Thirty sine 30. The answer is coming as negative 15, and m2 y is going to be equal to negative. Uh, uh, it's positive positive 30 cos 30 because a y is in the positive direction therefore it's positive 30 cos 30 so 25.9 25.9 so these are my vectors there's no height for this one therefore m to z is 0 so now I can simply add both of them together to find uh, my find my resultant uh, resultant moment. So if I add i with i, it's going to give me 9.72 minus 15. 9.72 minus 15, which is equal to minus 5.28. 5.28 i, comma. Uh, if I calculate j. It's gonna give me 36.29 plus 25.9 plus 25.9 plus 25.9 62.19 62.19j and it's simply negative 13.6k So this is my resultant magnitude, the resultant uh, resultant movement. Now they are asking determine the magnitude and angles. So first of all, I have to find the magnitude for this one. So in order to find the magnitude, it's simply gonna be square root of all of this square. So it's gonna be negative five point uh, five point two eight square plus sixty. 2.19 square plus minus 13.6 square so if I square it let's see what I get 5.28 square plus 62.19 square 62.19 square plus 13.6 square all together is going to be 63.8 now in order to calculate the uh, calculate the angles i have to find alpha is going to be i uh, beta is going to be uh, beta is going to be j and gamma is going to be k so alpha is equal to <coughs> cos inverse cos inverse uh, negative 5.28 over 63.8 so if I calculate this value cos inverse negative 5.228 divided by 
63.8 which is giving giving me 94.7 degree so you can use the same thing to calculate everything like cos inverse uh, it's this is beta sorry it's beta beta and gamma cos inverse this is cos inverse uh, 62.19 over 63.8 and this is cos inverse um, negative 13.6 okay you don't have to go to k 13.6 over 63.8 so let's calculate and see what we get cos inverse 62.19 divided by 63.8 is giving me giving me 12.8 degree and this is giving me negative so wait a minute okay cos inverse negative 13.6 divided by 63.8 which is giving me 102.3 degree so this is my final answer uh, so they said they are asking magnitude and coordinate direction angle of the result so magnitude is this 62.8 and coordinate directions are this i hope you guys enjoy this video see you next time